I feel the use of genomics for cattle producers will be more widespread than we're seeing it now. Through genomics, we're able to take a look underneath at a three-month-old calf and come up with a prediction of what she should do in the future. My name is Hunter Horn. My dad and I manage Great Mark Western. We are a vertically integrated operation located in North Florida here in the Panhandle. We participate in all the segments of the beef industry. Our primary focus is commercial cow-calf. We pride ourselves on being great land stewards. A lot of our land is in conservation easements and in other agricultural practices that promote sustainability for the land. And we we'll also want to focus on great animal husbandry. And one thing that kind of brings the two together is the use of genomic testing. And we found that through genomic testing, we get a pretty good return on investment for keeping cattle and making our operation more economically sustainable for the long haul so that we can continue to be here and be great land stewards. Some things that are really important to our operation are having genomic profiles on different breeding groups. This allows us to be able to quantify the traits of our breeding groups and see what we may need to add to some. For example, tenderness and marbling are two very important traits since we are a pasture to plate and fully integrated operation. We really strive to put a tender product on our customer's plate as well as a choice or better product and we're able to look at our cow herd and say, wow, they need some more marbling or they're just right and we can back off or we can add to. We see a fancy outside exterior, kind of like a brand new car when we go to make selection decisions on our replacement heifers and what we're really interested in is what's under the hood. So we're after a, a very balanced animal which is extremely tough to do and we find that pendulum constantly swinging. All of the different traits that we're trying to use here in our pursuit of a, a good carcass on the rail as well as a good cow in the pasture, we have to be able to use multiple traits in order to keep her balanced because we don't want to make her one-way terminal or the other way so maternal that we can't perform with not enough growth. And one thing I'd encourage other producers to at least start with is a parentage. We completely AI all of our commercial cows as well as our seed stock. So with that being said, we turn the bulls out pretty quick. So the only way we're able to distinguish between the AI bull and the multi-sire herd sire pasture and whose calves are whose is through the use of parentage and genomic testing. That allows us to see which bulls are really getting it done out there and which ones are, are putting calves on the ground and which ones are putting calves on the ground with desirable traits that we like. I feel the use of genomics for cattle producers will be more widespread than we're seeing it now. I, I think we're just in the beginning stages of it and that we're just seeing early adopters take hold of it. There's multiple uses for it and I think a lot of people just see the side of the replacement females and increasing the predictability and future use of your females because we all know the cost that it takes to develop those in, into a cow. But I think the large side of it that folks miss out on is the use of genomics to predict the product that they're making every year. And in that, I mean their calves. The feed yards are constantly after a more predictable product, more predictable days on feed, a more predictable outcome on the rail. Through genomics, we're able to achieve those goals and accomplish a lot faster what used to take multiple generations. We know how expensive it is to keep and maintain heifers. What is also the fallout of those heifers if they're not the correct ones you're keeping and maintaining? We want to do as much as we can to get it right before we spend the money. Igenity Beef. Contact your Neogen Territory Manager to test today.